All right, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to make the shielding for the laser. So basically the shielding that will um, prevent the laser beam from exiting the laser. And what you, what you can see here is the sheet metal for this. It's, well, focus please. It's quite a lot of sheet metal, um, but it's very thin. So it's not gonna, so it's not gonna be very heavy. Um, but I'll have to cut these into shape and some of these I'll have to weld. So that's, uh, so that this is the perfect shape for the laser housing. All right, let's get started. Okay, so just an example for the kind of process that I'm going through for each of these sites is I've got the raw stock. As you can see, it's consisting of, or it consists of uh, quite a lot of um, like singular pieces which don't really fit. And that's because limitations of what the uh, supplier will sell to you. So they won't sell kind of like a piece of sheet metal that's 153 millimeters thick. They're just gonna sell 100 millimeters, 200 millimeters, 300, and only up to one meter. And since uh, this laser is one meter and 20 centimeters long, that's a bit of a problem. So I'll have to do some welding. And I mean, this is quite thin material, about half a millimeter, but since I've got a, a TIG welder, that's not gonna be a problem, I think. Okay, so the first step I'll have to do for this side is basically cut this uh, to the correct length. And uh, just a little uh, side note here, the lid is going to have some acrylic so you can actually see inside the laser while it's running. And acrylic is, um, it blocks out the infrared from the laser. So that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so I have to cut this and then weld all this up. And I'll take you along with me. Okay, as you can see, I've got the first cut marked. And since it's very thin material, I'll just try using the shear, as you can see here. And if that doesn't work, I'll just go to the angle grinder and the zip disk. Well, that light is really weird. Anyways, see you later. All right, so I've got stuff cut out. As you can see, I've got these um, sheets well, cut out using just a normal shear. I've got some space for the hinges as well. And now I'll have to weld these joints over there and over there as well. Okay, I've got this welded up. As you can see, these aren't the prettiest welds in the world, but that's not going to matter that much. I'm just going to paint this over and that's not going to look particularly bad. However, um, I've got some distortions here and there because, well, I mean, welding this thin sheet metal, this is half a millimeter, is just a pain in the, you know what. So, yeah, but I guess it's gonna be all right. All right, I've got the back plate for the laser housing finished as well, welded up as well. Yeah, that's looking a lot worse on camera than it actually is. But however, I've got this uh, sanded lightly and cleaned up using some metal cleaner so that the paint will stick very well. All right, so I've got this walled up, as you can see. Um, now, is this perfectly airtight? No, it definitely is not. But that shouldn't be a problem since we've got um, a fume extractor in the laser. Or we'll have fume extractor in the laser. And, and another thing, if I were to just run a full bead on this, which first of all is quite hard to do because this is like paper thin. Um, but if I were to do this, this would just um, induce a lot of distortions. And this actually has ha happened in the top layer that you saw first. But yeah, so I just did this and it's not gonna be a problem. I'll just um, paint this over and it's not gonna look any worse. 
Okay, so I've got the first parts actually um, sprayed black, as you can see, and I'm just test fitting the whole thing and see whether this all is going to fit. But I think it will. Guess we'll see. Now oh, that screw isn't. Oh no, no. There it's going. As you can probably hear, I've got some other um, sheets over there. They're only loosely fixed, so you can hear the rattling when I bump this whole thing. But to be perfectly honest, I really like this. This black really is nice. It's a nice satin finish. Not glossy. Doesn't or shouldn't be glossy because glossy means more reflective and we don't want more reflective when we're working with a laser. So yeah, I think that's fine. Then we've got the loading gate plate basically, which is this one. And I'm going to screw this on here and then I'll see you. All right, I've got this and this sheet here um, screwed on and I really like how this looks. It really gives this gives this kind of a professional uh, ring to it. So yeah, but I won't assemble these right now because if I do this, this will make assembling all the other stuff just a total nightmare. So um, the other sheets are going to be screwed on here as soon as I've got all the other stuff done, basically the laser done. Alright, it has been about one or two months since I last made a um, video about the whole shell of the laser. And as you can see, well, the y-axis has arrived and it's pretty much finished, the mirrors are aligned. But the, but the important thing is I've got this plate now screwed on because there are no major things to be done. Um, and I've got this um, emergency stop button wired in there. And I think that actually looks pretty good. Now what needs to be done is this side here in this side here and as soon as I've got everything finished I'll do the um, bottom because as soon as the bottom is installed all, every major work on this is going to be really tedious so installing the bottom will probably be the very last task of this laser project okay so it has been quite a lot of time since I last filmed the um, episode for the shell and as you can see I've got everything done now and as you can see we've got the um, shell pretty much done nothing too special I think you already saw all this stuff and I just cut a whole slot for this switch which is for the air for the pressurized air in the ventilation system and for the table, left and lowering. And right now, this should actually be finished. I don't think that I'll have to seal anything up or anything like more sealed than it already is. Should be fine. I think the laser beam is going to be contained just fine. As you can see, I've already cut some test pieces here, and that was perfectly fine. <laughs> 